In this video, I'll be taking a look at the Lambda class shuttle. It's another design from the classic trilogy, uh, Return of the Jedi. This vehicle is quite complicated. It's got wings that fold up. I wasn't able to do that in the stock game, so I ended up creating a couple of versions of this craft. This one flies strictly in atmosphere. It's got some jet engines on it so you can't take this into space but you can fly it around it is uh, airworthy in the stock game uh, works rather nicely and I had to do some tricks in order to get it to work properly uh, one of those was again uh, I'm kind of stuck on this unlimited offset mod what I did is I, I moved the landing gear down well below the craft so it actually starts uh, in, a, in a flying condition. I also added a, a bomb onto the bottom of it uh, just so I could use it to do some attacking rather than just being cannon fodder. Those landing gear will drop off as you fly. I was going to make them into support craft or uh, like escort fighters um, but that didn't work out very well so I just left the landing gear as they are disembodied from the craft and releasable once you take off. So on takeoff it's a little bit unstable. Uh, what you're going to want to do is hit the afterburners once the engines get up to speed and once you get off the ground just jettison those landing gear and then you're off and flying and you can't land this thing once it's in the air so it really is truly uh, Empire cannon fodder because there is no coming back once it takes off. Um, so in this little scenario I'm going to fly around and drop a bomb and it you can equip this thing with uh, guns and bombs and if you have BD armory you could do whatever you want with it um, I'm using it basically as a shuttle I just put this bomb on just for to have this little scenario I also all of my Imperial craft have self-destruct so that when they get hit by the by the rebels they'll it'll explode and of course as always I like to save my Kerbal so I've got a parachute on board as well uh, so they'll fall to the ground and be just fine saved by the the parachute so there hit the ground and oh, pop no all is good so the second version of this craft is strictly for takeoffs and landing I've got uh, some landing gear on there, I've got the engines, and I've got a, a, a ramp and a little airlock that you can uh, take your Kerbals in and out of the craft. So these are all additional things that aren't in the flyable version. I did use this craft in a previous video uh, where I was removing the pilots from the TIE Fighters prior to a battle and basically had them walk from the TIE Fighters over to the shuttle and hop in the shuttle. So I'll be doing something similar later on in this video in, in a later version of the craft. Once they are all in the craft, uh, the shuttle can take off and transition obviously to the other mode for flight and then do the landing. So this version of the craft is strictly used for takeoffs and landings. Fairly straightforward. Um, Again, it's got a self-destruct on it. I won't show that. Uh, so the real scenario here is on for the third version of this shuttle, and that's landing on a, a landing pad. I built a landing platform with an Imperial shuttle, a TIE fighter, and a cloud car on them. I also downloaded an ATST craft designed by Major Jim just to fill out the scenario. Needed something on the ground. So in this scenario what's going to happen is we're going to take the Kerbals out of the shuttle and put them on the waiting cloud car and they'll be able to fly that to whatever destination they want to go to. So basically the reverse of what I did before uh, where they're coming from the shuttle into another craft and then flying off. So this is a just a, an interesting scenario once again you can set this up and fly your craft around and, and shoot at it uh, but it, these are basically all just props except for the cloud car um, 
in order to take off, I've got some Separatrons connected to it. You just jettison those once you're airborne, and you can fly around and do some uh, gratuitous flybys of both the, uh, the platform itself, as well as the destination, which happens to be over at those mountains over there. And, of course, that's Cloud City. If you've got a cloud car, you have to use it to fly to Cloud City, of course. So, do a couple of little flybys, and that will finish out the video for the Lambda-class shuttle. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day.